Hi guys, my name is Nadine. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you came over. And this is going to be my Monday Money University. So I wanted to educate myself and help you get educated about money because I feel everybody should have enough knowledge to be able to use money as a tool and be able to create more money and wealth in their life and also stimulate the economy if we have more money and most importantly give back to others. So some people didn't have parents that educated them about money and I don't think it's taught enough in schools. So I took it on myself and I read a lot of books about money. I'm doing a lot of research, listening to audiobooks. I'm also a CPA and I have a bachelor in business and work full time. So I have some background myself as well. So I want to start these videos for us all to get educated and improve our knowledge about money. And if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave them in the video below. And I'm also going to create a Facebook group where we could discuss this topic further or you could let me know what other videos you want me to make and what else you want to know about. And I will also put in important files in there. For example, today, the very first video, I wanted to talk about the budget. Because before we can start saving money and investing money and all the good things, we need to actually know how much money we have at the end of every month. So that's the most important thing. So my grandma used to do her budget like in paper every day, wrote down every single thing she spent on, which I think is not as feasible as or as easy to do anymore now that we just buy things and swipe our credit card. So let's me show you how I do my budget and I update it probably every three to six months and then you can learn how you can do your own budget or if you already do one that's great okay so here we go so I think the best way to do this is on a computer but you're also more than welcome to do this by hand it's just a little harder to update you would have to erase things if you need to change things but Excel and I also believe Apple has already these templates that you can use either for your Microsoft or for your Apple computer or you could just create a brand new Excel spreadsheet here and start typing. So the most important things to know about your budget is that at the end of the day you want this number to be zero because you want to have your savings in your budget as well. And most experts recommend to save at least 10% of your income of your paycheck every month so if you can do that that's great so at the beginning of the spreadsheet you want to put in all your income information and I would be more specific in that so you would type in here salary if you're working so you would put in your salary then any other income you can think of that you get on a monthly basis if you own rental property um, if you get alimony child support anything where you have money coming in put here and then you have this overall total that will go in here. You show big on the main screen your overall total. And then down here you have all your expenses. You can do it like this and put it in all these categories, but the most important thing for now is that you create a budget. So you would have, for example, mortgage expenses, phone, electricity, water, and then you put all your estimated expenses in here. Doesn't obviously the mortgage is not going to change, but sometimes the phone bill changes if there's variable things coming in. The electricity bill and gas and water will not be always the same, but if you could put like an average estimate in here, and once you have all your expenses for the month, which I would not include savings for now, just the expenses you cannot avoid, you will put the total in, the total will calculate in here, and then the difference will hopefully a positive number so we do income minus expenses so I can upload this spreadsheet to the Facebook group and then here you will show how much you have left at the end of every month and then that you can use to either um, start investing or if you have to increase some of your expenses you could use that as well for that but this is just explaining the basic concept of how a budget works. So it's just all your income minus all your expensive and let's see what you have left at the end of the month. So I hope this was helpful just to show you how a basic budget looks like. 
but like I said, it's basically income minus expenses. And for some people that might be very eye-opening if they've never done a budget, they're like, oh, I didn't even know I spend all this money every month. So what I do when I update my budget, I go through all my bank account and credit cards and see everything that's coming out every month. And then for example, for food, groceries, going out to eat, just do it on one month, maybe print the sheet out and add all the categories together and see if that's like an average month, put that in as your expense for groceries for the month or for like going out to eat, just, it's gonna be a little bit more or less of an estimate, but you could do it at the beginning every month and then it'll give you better understanding um, and the number is gonna become more accurate. But basically what you want to do once you have your number, if it's a positive number, great, then you can, like I said, either see if there's some more expenses that you need to increase or you can start saving and it is recommended to start saving 10% in a savings account or somewhere where you're not going to touch it or maybe start your emergency fund. But I will talk about that in my next video, what are all the different options is you can do with your extra money and then in later videos we can dive deeper, dive deeper into all the different options. But for now, I just want you to know exactly what your budget is and what this difference number looks like. And if it's a negative number, then there's two things you can do. You can either try to increase your income. That might be getting a part-time job, getting a second job, doing something on the side, um, going to your boss if that's a possibility and ask for an increase in income, see if there's any salary increase you can get, um, things like that. And then what I also do every three to six months, I look at all my expenses, my monthly expenses, and see if there's anything I can reduce. For example, if you go to a really fancy gym, maybe it's not in your budget right now, maybe you want to reduce and go to a um, lower cost gym, or you just want to run outside or work out in your house if you don't have the budget right now. Or I call, for example, AT&T, my cell phone provider, and see if there's anything I can lower or if they have any deals sometimes. I also recently cut my cable bill, so now we only have Netflix and Disney Plus and internet, and then that reduced the bill by like 160 bucks a month. So I recommend to do that, no matter if you have a budget or not, at least every three to six months, look through all your expenses in your Excel spreadsheet and see if there's anything you can reduce. Because you more reduce the expenses, the more you have left to put into your savings and the earlier we start saving the longer the money can compound and gain more interest and increase faster so the earlier you start doing the budget and know how your finances are looking and it might be scary but i promise you as soon as we figure out all the tools and i will explain you more on all the things you can do then it'll be fun to like start investing start seeing your debt go down start seeing your income go up it's actually really fun so yeah that was my first video like i said it's more important to know now to where we stand so we can see which way we need to go and what our strategies need to be so if you want to leave any comments for me on the video you have any other suggestions you have any other ideas and then i will leave you in the show notes the name of the facebook group and we can also discuss things there if you have questions or you can dm me in the facebook group and then also my Instagram is honey.eating.vegan because I'm also trying to go vegan, but um, yeah, I'm still eating some dairy and meat. So honey.eating.vegan is my Instagram if you want to DM me there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos like this about money or any other ones, please leave me in the comments below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more budget and money videos. Bye.